And it's time for a rather interesting edition of We Try Wednesday because I have a special guest in the studio who uh, I see every day and I'm always very, very nice to because she's my boss. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, Gary. It is rather interesting to see you in the studio. When's the last time you've been on the air? I, maybe a judging uh, contest between Well, you that's and right. We did the blueberry pie challenge a oh, couple years great. ago yeah, that I cheated by using store-bought materials. You went handmade and the hey. blind taste test I won. Yes, you did. We will have a rematch on that. And I promise next time we do something like that, I will actually cook from scratch. Yes. Well, the thing here is that Kira texted me uh, earlier this week and said she has this thing called Creo Brew. It's brewed cacao. Is that how you pronounce it? I guess so. Yes, I think so. It can't. It keeps pos popping up on my Facebook feed. Mm -hmm. So for all of you out there and you've seen it maybe, wondered about it, I went ahead and bought it and I had to try it. <laughs> it basically, it brews like coffee. Uh, it's roasted, it's ground, and it is really interesting. Now, here's the thing, it's not instant. We have been steeping it here for about 10 minutes. It's now in my uh, AeroPress, my French press. We're about to strain it through there, and then we're gonna try it. It has, they say, the aroma and flavor of pure dark chocolate, and it's 100% ground cacao. So, were you ready to do this? I'm ready to do All it. All right, let me get the press here. Okay. Ah. Okay, so I've run it through the press, and now I'm going to put some in here, and then I'm gonna hand the rest of it to Kira. Thank you. All right, so, so what, what we have here is... Ooh, it smells like chocolate. It, it smells like, literally it smells like, it's not hot chocolate, it smells like dark chocolate. Yes. It looks like muddy water. <laughs> it does, well, coffee kind of looks like muddy water too, <laughs> when you think about it. But it smells wonderful. All right, so we're just gonna try this, no sugar, no cream or anything. And I'm gonna let Kira go first, because it was her idea. What do you think? It's not a strong flavor. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weak, uh, but it's pleasant. Yeah, and maybe I just didn't use enough grounds because it said two tablespoons for eight ounces of coffee. Yeah. I guess you can do that to adjust because I tend to like things a little bit stronger. So, you know, you would have to adjust it to taste, but it's got an interesting, it's got an interesting texture. Yes. Mm. I like it. It's, um, I drink decaf coffee. So you drink fake coffee. <laughs> I try to be a little healthier, Gary. <laughs> try not to bounce off the walls like you. Hey, you get up every morning at four. Well, you do. You get up as early as I do. I do. I, do. I know. I, I see the text messages. <laughs> so, all right. So I guess in the future on this one, it, I mean, it has a perfect color, but I guess I would like double up the, the grounds for, Maybe for my... Maybe it day. recommended that you could add cream, whipping cream maybe to it, and froth, froth milk, and make it, it would taste more like a hot chocolate. Oh, we don't have any whipped cream in the refrigerator, we do don't. we? don't, I should have brought some. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? It kind of tastes like decaf hot chocolate. Decaf hot chocolate, all right. Uh, the website is creobrew, that's C-R-I-O-B-R-U.com if you want to learn more about it. Kira, thank you for bringing this thank in. Thank you, a healthy alternative. Slancha.